And welcome back to another episode of LSPDFR. My name is SoCal Thero, and today we're going to be running a little traffic out here on the highway uh, on US Route 15 uh, in a different pad setup. We're going to be driving around in our sheriff uniform, and I'm going to be using sheriff vehicles today. Uh, the one vehicle I'm going to use is this uh, 2015 Ford F 150 behind me. Uh, the livery, well, the vehicle itself was created by me again, that's going to be in the pack, as well as the livery, and the livery is based off of the, I believe it was called Eagle County Police or Sheriff's Department over in uh, Colorado, however, it is lore friendly, so it does say San Andreas County on there instead, but it does follow the same design similar to that one. Um, with my sheriff vehicles, we don't. I don't have it set up with Argent light bars. They have uh, Liberty, so we're gonna go ahead and hop in the vehicle here. See if uh, everything's working properly on the light bar. So we got our traffic advisor there. The secondaries are working, and everything lit up is working as well. Perfect. Yep, perfect. Okay, so we're going to be out on the highway here running a little traffic. Um, we'll probably take some calls as well, um, but we'll try to stay out of the city. We'll just mainly stay in the highway. Uh, if it does escalate into the city, then obviously we'll follow. Um, but yeah, with that being said, let's go ahead and get out here on patrol. Alright, we just had a vehicle lose a tire, it sounds like. They almost did hit me when they uh, lost it. Gonna be that little smart car looking thing up here. Yeah, their vehicle is pretty heavily damaged now. And then this guy in front of me doesn't have a helmet on on top of it. Actually, we're gonna... Oh, yeah, I think we're gonna get the guy without the helmet. Just because that's a little more... I mean, they're both unsafe, but this isn't any better. Right, let's get him more over on the side here. On the shoulder, anyways. There we go. All right, we're going to have a talk with this guy and figure out why he didn't have his helmet on. Hello, sir. My name's Deputy Thero with the San Andreas County Sheriff's Department. The uh, reason I'm pulling you over today is because I noticed you didn't have your helmet on. Um, go ahead and give me your license, registration, and proof of insurance for this motorcycle. Get up. Lens and marks. All right, Mar Lens. Uh, go ahead and sit tight for me here, and I'll be right back. Alright, so we're going to look up his information right now. See what's going on with him. So, vehicle comes back with insurance and registration as being valid. He's valid. He's been stopped one time is all. 65, really. He just looks really good for his age. Um... I'm gonna go ahead and cite him for this. I was gonna give him a warning, being the fest, uh, fest. Wow, the first stop of the day, but he uh, kind of caused a danger to himself by not uh, wearing a helmet. So I don't want to make it seem like that's okay as long as it's my first stop of the day. Uh, I'm not sure what you would put that under though. Maybe it's under equipment. Let's see.
Fortunately, there's nothing here, so we're gonna the states anyways for uh, not wearing your helmet. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and just do careless driving, just because I mean that kind of what it is. He is being careless and could have injured himself really badly had he gone down. All right, sir. Um. I have a written citation here for you for not wearing your helmet. I'm going to need your signature at the bottom here. It's not an admission of guilt. All it is is saying that you'll appear in court at the uh, written court date here or you'll pay for the ticket. Um, if I could go ahead and get your signature on that, that'd be great. Alright, thank you for that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get in my vehicle here. Once I get in my vehicle, you're free to take off uh, as long as it's clear and safe to do so. Um, just go ahead and make sure you have that helmet on for future reference so I don't have to get called out to a scene where you get hurt and it's even worse because you don't have one, okay? Have a good rest of your day. And here comes the random thing. Alright, so we gave him a ticket. I didn't want to give him a ticket, but... I didn't want him to think that it was okay to ride around without your helmet as long as the cop just started his shift for the day. So, we're going to go ahead and get set back up here on the highway and run some more radar, see if we can come across any other speeders. Oh, okay, we got this silver bison in front of us. Whoa! Uh, it's doing 75 in a 60 mile per hour zone here. Uh, so he's way over the, the speed limit right now. So we're going to go ahead and uh, pull him over and see why he's in such a hurry tonight. I'm going to go ahead and try to get him off on the right side of the road instead. On the shoulder. Okay, we're Getting, we're looking better, we're looking better. Get him pull forward there. Perfect. Alright. Now I gotta get in here. Alright. Well, let's go ahead and step out and have a talk with this individual. Man, I'm actually pretty close to the road. I may have. I should have probably pulled off a little bit more. Hello, sir. My name is. Deputy Thero with the uh, San Andreas County Sheriff's Department. Uh, reason for pulling you over tonight is because I clocked you back there doing 75 in a 60 mile per hour zone. Um, is there a reason why you're in such a hurry today? Um, you have your license, proof of insurance, and registration for this vehicle? Alright Frankie, uh, I appreciate that. Go ahead and sit tight here and I'll uh, be right back, alright? Frankie DeLuca. Well, let's maybe not walk out on the street. I'll probably approach him on the passenger side. This is, yeah, we are way too close to traffic, and traffic is flying here. Oh, it helps when I run his information first before I go talk to him again. Frankie DeLuca. License is valid, and he's not wanted. Vehicles valid. Registration. Okay, yeah. So everything's valid on this vehicle. Um, just due to the speed in the zone that he was going in, I'm again. I'm not going to cut this guy a break either, just because um, he's going really fast. You can't. I mean, five, seven over the limit. I'll, I'll cut you a break. But if you're going to be going that fast, that's yeah. That's not going to happen. Why is it not picking up that vehicle? Maybe it's because it's not under here. Let's see. No? We have to do it under here. Why is that not picking up? Maybe I'm not close enough. Wow, okay. Well, it doesn't seem to want to get any of his... Uh, information here so we're gonna can I move that oh, okay 
Looks like I'm gonna have to manually type out the ticket here. The Luca uh, date of birth eight eighteen six eight eighteen nineteen eighty eight. Palomino freeway. Okay, well. He's driving a pickup truck. It's a bison. It's silver tag. I'm gonna have to make up the tag just because I don't know it off the top of my head. Uh, I'm gonna cite him for speeding. He was between 10 and 15 miles per hour. Alright. I don't know why that didn't pick that up. Uh, that's fine. I'll take. I'll just write it out myself. Oh. Okay, we're a little bit safer now, but we're going to get on the passenger side here. Alright, Frankie, here's all your information back. Um, I am citing you today for driving as fast as you were on the highway. Um, I'm going to need your signature here at the bottom of this ticket. It's not an admission to guilt, it's just acknowledging that you have received the ticket and that you will appear on that specific date in the courtroom, or you will pay the fine. So, go ahead and get your signature from you there. Thank you for that. Um, and you're free to leave as soon as I get back in my vehicle. Um, just be careful when pulling out and make sure it's safe when you do so. Have a good rest of your night. Okay, so... Got him pulled over. Everything's good with him. Go ahead and let him... Oh, that's not safe, but that's just AI for you. Alright, so we're going to go up here a little ways and we're going to run some more traffic. Alright, we got this Regina here. It was doing about 6 miles over the speed limit, which I'm going to pull her over for that, but I mean, I might cut him a break here, but I've been kind of slow in the area right now. Oh, and then there's the bison in front of him having a hard time maintaining lanes. Well, it's a Regina's lucky day. You got my attention on a possible DUI uh, individual here. We're going to go ahead and get them to pull out the way there. Thank you. It's your lucky day. I'm having a real hard time maintaining links. Oh! Why doesn't like that one a good? Okay. Alright, uh, suspects uh, failure to stop right now. We're gonna be heading north on Sonora Way. And he's still having a hard time maintaining lanes. Um, we have a ramp bar on our vehicle now, so I might have to pit the vehicle if it gets a little out of hand here. Let's try verbal command. Alright, let's get another unit out here. Alright, there. Oh! Kind of overshot it there, buddy. Get out of the vehicle! Get out of the vehicle! Show me your hands! Show me your hands! Don't even think about it! Get on the ground now! Okay, got the suspect 1015 right now. What are you running for, man? Gonna search him. Got a pocket knife and a camera. Okay. Let's go ahead and have a seat in the back of my patrol vehicle here. Get in the car and behave. I'm gonna kill my siren real quick. All right. Go ahead and search his vehicle. We're gonna try to search his vehicle and get this road cleaned up as quick as we can here, so we're not blocking traffic. Pocket knife, a Forge ID card, and a phone. Hmm. Might not have been up to no good here. Go ahead and 
get his vehicle impounded. And we'll tow this vehicle too, just because it's randomly here. Then we'll move our vehicle. We're still gonna breathalyze him, just to see if we can add more to the charges. We'll actually fill out the arrest report. I haven't been doing that. Alright, sir, go ahead and blow into this tube here. I want to see if you've been drinking at all tonight. That was the original reason why I was going to pull you over. You have not been drinking. So why would you run, man? Because you had a forged ID? It's the only thing I could think of. Oh, wrong computer. Login, pad. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and create an arrest for report for him. This is where the arrest location took place. Um, charges, it's... I guess it's going to just be felony eluding. He didn't have a chance to hit anybody. Um, actually, you know what? I'm not going to fill out an arrest report because I don't have my drug -alyzer here with me. It's something they do down at the station. So I'll let them fill out the arrest report. Just in case he's under the influence of something else other than alcohol. So we're going to have PT come out and pick him up right now. Here's the uh, interior of the vehicle if you were wondering how it looks. Might need to fix that. That seems like it's a little too big for the vehicle. Oh, looks like PT's stuck down here. Might have pulled up for him. Hey! How you doing? You asshole. You asshole. I'm like, uh, I'm like Jeff. My favorite quote from the sheriff is, You ain't worth the steam off my piss. <laughs> That's probably one of my favorite ones. Uh, favorite of all time, though. Uh, it's gonna be from LSPD, or, I'm sorry, LCPDFR. And it's, uh, when we get back to the station, I'm going to beat you with a phone book. That's that's the classic. One of my favorites. Uh, I kind of wish you could... <laughs> I wish somebody would make a mod, basically, where you could hear that again in, in LSPDFR. That'd be great. Uh, but with that arrest, we're going to go ahead and head back up here. We're going to uh, accept calls now. Take a look and see if we get any call-outs. Oh, dear. In the road. And deer down on the road. There, there you have it. But uh, yeah, we're gonna get back up here. We'll run some traffic, but we'll accept some call outs as well, just in case any of those come over the radio and they need our assistance in the nearby area. All right, we're gonna be trying to catch up to a ballista compact up here in the uh, number one lane. Um, it's doing 70 and a 60 right now. There he is, right here. Uh, due to the hill on the right, too, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to pull him over to the left. Or her. It might be a female driver. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and have her sit right there. Hello, ma'am. My name is Deputy Thero with the San Andreas County Sheriff's Department. The uh, reason I'm pulling you over today is I clocked you back there doing 70 in a 60 mile per hour zone. Um, do you have your license, proof of reg registration, or I'm sorry, proof of insurance and registration on you? All right, Megan, please sit tight here. I'll be right back. All right, I'm going to run her information real quick, see what's going on. Uh, she has a warrant. Oh, great. Okay, well, that solves that. She's not going home tonight. And everything else is clean on the vehicle. It's just she has a warrant. So we're going to go ahead and get her out of the vehicle here and um, place her under arrest. But we're going to keep our gun out just in case. Hi, ma'am. Can you do me a favor and go ahead and step out of the vehicle for me? LSPD! Don't 
make me shoot you! Alright, ma'am. You're being arrested right now because you have a uh, active warrant out for your arrest. So we're going to go ahead and place you in handcuffs here. Um, do you have anything on you that might poke, prick, or stick me that might otherwise hurt me? Well, what the hell ever then? Make sure we do this in front of the camera because I know people will say something about it. Alright, perfect. Go well, ahead and step back here with me and we'll put you inside my cruiser for the meantime. I know people are going to tell me like, hey, you're a male officer, you can't search a female a uh, female suspect which is true it is again it is part of the uh, procedure for the police department um, the fix for GTA is to say that you're in front of a, uh, a dash cam just so you don't get accused for anything but uh, in real life you usually have to call a uh, female officer out to do the search uh, unfortunately with GTA you just can't do that so at least not yet anyways maybe somebody will make a script for it um, but at this time we can't so we gotta just role play it with uh, using the dash cam as evidence that you didn't assault them in any way. But well, she just had a photo in her car, so we're gonna go ahead and get this vehicle towed out of here, and we're gonna already gonna call PT for her as well. Tow trucks here. Another pickup truck is here for pickup. Perfect. Oh, something made my car bounce. Alright, ma'am. I hope you have better luck and get that resolved in court. Have a nice day. Alright. So, we're going to get back up to our spot there. We seem to have some pretty good luck finding speeders and uh, see what else we come across. Okay, we're going to catch up to this uh, muscle car up here. He's uh, driving with underglow on, which, as I stated in my other episodes, it's illegal to have any color. It doesn't matter what color it is. It's illegal to have in uh, California. So we're going to go ahead and pull him over here for that. Oh, this is not a great spot. Okay, we're going to try to get him over to the left hand side just due to the fact that there's a hill there all right uh, no no are you serious I should pull your ass over for being impatient there you go there's a little turnout Perfect. All right, we're gonna go ahead and stop them right here. Uh, let's go ahead and oh, let's not do that. Let's check out the plate on this vehicle real quick. It's registered to Kelly Dylan, and just been stopped twice. Okay. Well, nothing with the registered owner, but let's see who's in the vehicle. Hello, my name's Deputy Thero with the San Andreas County Sheriff's Department. The uh, reason I'm pulling you over today is you, you have yellow underglow lights on your vehicle. Um, in the state of San Andreas, it's illegal to have any kind of lighting system under your vehicle as it's uh, considered a distraction of the other motorists on the road. And if you look on the box of where you purchase your lights from, it'll specifically tell you for off-road use only. So, um, with that being said, could you go ahead and give me your license, proof of insurance, and registration for the vehicle, please? Get up. Dino and Kelly. Alright, I'll be right back with you here in just a moment, okay? Alright, so we already know about the vehicle. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and give her a uh, written warning here. So, if she gets pulled over again, uh, they could talk to the officer and let him know that they've already been uh, 
warned about it. Alright, all your information comes back clean. Here you go. Everything seems to be okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give you a written warning today. Uh, reason for that being is in case another officer pulls you over for the same thing, you can show them the warning that another officer, being myself, uh, has already stopped you for it. Um, however, you do need to get this vehicle fixed or turn off the lighting system underneath it, okay? Um, we can't be having that riding around on the streets uh, with the lights like that, okay? Alright, off you go! Well, we're going to let them off now. And we're going to get it back in our vehicle here. We're going to go down to uh, Blaine County here. We'll uh, see if we get any calls. I want to get at least one call in and not just run traffic all day here. Unit 1, Lincoln 14. We have a robbery in Grande Sonora Desert. Alright, we're getting reports of a uh, holdup right now at the supermarket down off the highway here at the little turnout pit stop area. Uh, we're responding code 3 just because of the severity of it right now. Oh, you were supposed to pull off to the right. Uh, turn around up here. Oh, come on, come on, come on, let me over. Alright, we got a van here. Looks like we got multiple suspects. We're gonna need a lot of help back here. Actually, we're gonna have to. We're gonna. Oh, we got one out on the freeway already? Jesus, this is gonna be bad. This is gonna be bad. You better stop or you're gonna get tased! Oh! Oh! I'm not shooting! I'm not shooting! Taser, taser, taser! Stop! Police! He's giving up, he's giving up, don't shoot him! Alright, get on the ground! Get on the ground! Don't make me kill you, man! Oh, damn it, AI is gonna kill him! Alright, uh, got one in custody right now. We're gonna search him. Hey, stop taking pop shots at him. Alright, he doesn't have anything on him. We're gonna call PT for him. We're gonna go for. It looks like most of the units are going after that guy, so I don't. Yeah, there's nobody going after the person in the desert. Alright, go ahead and have a walk back here with me, sir. I'll get you to the unit. Oh, I love that charger. We'll use that charger on the next uh, uh, highway patrol. Makes a little more sense to the truck I'm driving right now. Alright, PT's got him. We're going to head back to our vehicle here and go... Uh, we'll try to get this one in the desert because there's about three units on the other guy oh. luckily we're driving a pickup truck oh let's try not to tear up our truck though oh way up in the hill there. Alright, well, looks like we're taking the footpath. Hopefully my truck will make it. Let's drive real slow. Make sure we don't do anything that will damage it. There he is. Sir, you're going to get tased if you don't stop. What is a steep hill? You better stop! You better stop! Alright, that's it. You're getting tased. Taser, taser, taser! Ah, I'm 
missed him. Okay, he tripped. Give it up! Please, give it up! Stop whatever the hell you're doing! Let me see your hands! Get on the ground! Alright. I have a second suspect. Search him, see if there's anything on him. I don't PT I don't think PT will be able to get out. Why is that not searching him? Really? Alright, we're gonna have to take him back to our cruiser for now. And then uh We'll uh try to search him over here. Come on, man, put some pep in your step. I gotta go get your other friend, too. My truck, there's my truck. He is taking his sweet ass time. Alright, we're gonna, gonna have him warp in. Fortunately. Don't be a dick, just get in the car! I'm gonna take him down here to the road, and we'll search him down there once he warps into the truck. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, this is sketchy driving down a hill backwards. PT form right here. Alright, now we can search him. Alright, let's make sure he doesn't have anything on him. A handgun and a camera. Jeez, I wish I could have searched him earlier. It kind of wouldn't make sense to let somebody with a gun on him in the back of your cruiser. Oh, man. Alright, here comes the PT right now. And it's a Crown Vic on the dirt road. Well, that's one way to tear up a car. Hey! This is the second suspect. Hopefully those guys got the third one. Alright, we're gonna go over and see if they got the third suspect right now. Looks like the units are still... Wow, they're still chasing him. Okay. And he's giving us a run for our money. Oh, a rock, damn it. And a couple more rocks. Okay, we can't go that way. Let's drive on some train tracks here, I guess. Because <laughs> that was probably safe to do. Of course, that's not going to open. And this guy is running. He is not tripping. Or falling or doing anything. I'll flush him back towards him. There you go. Let AI get some sort of an arrest here. Alright, since uh, those units got him in custody, we're going to go ahead and um, head back to the original scene of the cr ah, I bust a headlight. Oh, well. We'll go back to the uh, original scene here, make sure the store owner's okay. Uh, see if we can locate their vehicle. I think it was a there was a speedo van there that was uh, a part of this, but we'll just double check when we get there. Oh, bouncing sand kings. Yeah, there's the speedo van. That's their vehicle right there that they were trying to escape in. So we're going to go ahead and search this thing too. Close my door. Get a plate check on it. First let's check and see if the store owner is okay. I want to make sure nobody's hurt inside. Also see if there's any other suspects. Don't see anybody. So we're going to take a look and see. San Andreas Sheriff's Department. 
Let us know if you're in here. Alright, front's cleared. Back is cleared. Oh! People down, okay. Yep, call an EMS. Attention all units. Medical aid requested. Looks like they shot or did something. They hurt the two store clerks in the back here. An ambulance requested from uh, Sandy Shores. I only remember what the plate check came back to on this thing. I had to do that again. Too busy clearing the store. Suspect's license plate. Eight five Sam X ray John four eight no insurance warrant violation. Yes. A warrant issued. Proceed with some bad dudes. Go ahead and get this towed out. As evidence. Now we're definitely gonna need EMS here. They're on the way right now. Looks like they may have been dispatched out of Sandy Shores, yeah. That's what, that's what it's looking like. Alright, tow truck's got their vehicle now. That's going to be impounded and investigated and searched even more. Here comes the ambulance now. Well, he's making the effort. He's going the wrong way on a freeway, which is probably not the best thing to be doing safe-wise. Everybody seems to be yielding to him. Alright, looks like EMS is going to be here right now. Attention, this is dispatch. No further units required. Proceed with patrol. Alright, so they're calling the fire truck back, I guess, because the ambulance is here now. Now we got two down behind the counter. Oh, oh hell, not looking good. Let's see what's going on over here. Can't tell who's working on who, but looks like they're working on both of them. Or it's one of them. It's two of them working on one guy. <laughs> All right, we definitely lost one. Oh man, yeah, we lost both of them. All right, we're gonna have to go ahead and call the coroner here. All units, code four. Uh, it looks like they were both shot, according to the EMS report, uh, with a pistol. It looks like. Yeah, that's just unfortunate. If I didn't have to go chase after the two suspects, I think I may have been able to save these guys. Oh. EMS is on scene now. Yeah, there's two behind the counter for you. way here. Alright, looks like corners cleaned up the scene. Uh, EMS is going to be 10-7 back to their station and looks like the corner is off scene as well. So we're going to call the scene code 4. We're going to report it into bit dispatch. And uh, that's going to put us at 10-8 again. Alright guys, that's going to do it for this episode of LSPDFR. I appreciate you watching. Hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed to the channel already and, and are enjoying what you're watching. Uh, leave any feedback, comments below if you uh, see anything I may have overlooked or give me some tips and advice on how I should be policing a little bit better. But uh, with that being said... Again, I appreciate you watching and have a good rest of your day.